how could I not ask you the following question? You were in a meeting once where Jerry Jarrett was stood up at the podium or whatever there was and said yep. to the USWA boys, you need to get off the steroids. Can you tell me the entire story behind that and why he was telling people to get off the steroids as well and what you said? Well, I don't know what year this was, but it was during the time where WWE was running all the mom and pops out. Memphis was no different because you can't show that WWF tape with all the glitz and the glamour and the, and the fireworks. And then all of a sudden ring a bell, ding, ding, ding. It's resting time. I mean, I mean it, it, the WWE stuff, uh, F stuff looked so much better. So our business was horrible. You know, a booker can only do so much, but it's according to what he's up against. Now, Jerry, when he was unopposed, I still think that the Memphis production was high end for the times, but things changed. And the thing you're talking about, Jerry Jarrett was going to WWF to help him book, he said. And he did call a meeting and called us all in the in Memphis in the back dressing room. It's a pretty big room. And we're standing there. We didn't even sit down. He says, now, boys, and I, I do this. Jerry used tobacco, and Jerry would go, now, boys. <laughs> he was spitting his cup. Now, I'm going up there to WWF to, to do a little booking with Vince. <laughs> He's spitting. <laughs> he says, now, <laughs> and the territory was horrible. I mean, we were making the minimum payoff even in Memphis almost it was that bad nobody was coming you look at mid Memphis mid-south if you have 2,000 people out there it looks empty and I don't know what their rent was but it wasn't reflected in the payoff now I can understand if Jerry is not making it he can't pay it out that was you know, it, we were just on. Used, we were just paid off the house. It used to be three thousand attendants in the late eighties. Three thousand attendants was a break-even point. Well, we were under that three thousand. So, but anyway, uh, he said, "I'm going up there to help bench with some booking." <laughs> Any of you boys on steroids? And we looked at him like this, like. And I looked here, and I looked over there, and what we looked like was like a, a lineup of damn concentration camp survivors. You could see, you could see the ribs of some guys. <laughs> I said steroids. I after a pause, I said steroids. Jerry, we're not even on food. <laughs> Oh my God! Nobody laughed then, but later on they they laughed like hell. And I shouldn't have said that. That's being a smart ass. I wasn't making no money anyway. But and I didn't work there again for. I left. I didn't work there again for three years. <laughs> I don't know. If it, but he says he, Jerry always said he didn't. He did, he doesn't remember that which I'm glad he doesn't remember it because that was kind of disrespectful and smart ass. But I thought we're running these roads and not making no money. But the thing that wouldn't made it, what made it worse was there was nowhere to go. Unless you went to WWF or WCW, where, where were you to go? There was no, and the independents that was in the days, they weren't paying any money. So you were just what they say, shit out of luck. Mm -hmm. But, but I have ha ha had guys ask me that, that were at the meeting. 